Okay. So uh, we have been uh, established in uh, 1998. So it is uh, it is something like 24 years ago, and. Uh, we are eight of us uh, just now, so we are not so so big, but maybe a little bit bigger in comparison with, with uh, some other organization here. Uh, and uh, you'll be speaking about uh, pandemics, so we were also active in this field, but not specifically in municipal level, because we focused on um, uh, coronavirus subsidies uh, overall in, in Slova Slovakia, because there were some mechanisms for uh, supporting of businesses, uh, it was uh, overall a, uh, more than uh, 3 billion of euros finally and um, we ask all this information from the different ministries about the subsidies and we publish all this information on specific websites Websites, so uh, everyone, can, everyone could uh, find the specific information about specific uh, uh, business uh, or specific company and details about their subsidies and we also disclosed uh, thanks to this uh, approach some frauds uh, so we also took some legal actions uh, and more than six million of euros uh, uh, had been returned back to the state uh, budget uh, because of uh, because of our investigation work and uh, we also were awarded uh, by a journalistic journalism award because of that so it was our approach in uh, in uh, coronavirus pandemic or it wasn't, uh, as I mentioned before, related uh, directly with, uh, with municipalities. We have also quite strong municipal program, uh, which has four uh, main pillars. Watchdog, uh, it's, it's main, main, mainly about investigation, anti-corruption strategy. So we also cooperate with uh, municipalities and we try to establish some anti-corruption measures in them. Uh, also, uh, measuring of transparency algorithms, very similar to the Lituania. So it is uh, about transparency rankings. And also, we uh, network local activists across the country. So uh, we have also uh, the specific portal uh, about uh, uh, transparency level in 100 biggest municipalities in Slovakia. So you can open the, the portal. There are it is available also in English. Uh, there are uh, mm, results of rankings since 2010 uh, when we started to uh, evaluate the transparency level of municipalities and eight regions in Slovakia so you can compare the trends the best practices from the from the municipalities and so on uh, speaking about the impact uh, we can see uh, quite significant improvement in this this field uh, as you can see uh, in 2010, uh, when we launched our first ranking, the overall score of transparency in 100 municipalities was, was something like 40%. Now uh, it is uh, more than 63%, so we can see a significant improvement in this field. Uh, and maybe two more slides. Um, the first one is related also with uh, municipal, uh, municipal media. We, we also uh, com we also compare or evaluate the transportiness and objecti objectivity level in municipal level. It's the same project as Ojimeni uh, mentioned, because we are part of uh, the, the coalition which is uh, involved in this in this measure or in this in this uh, approach. So we evaluated uh, 100 biggest uh, cities in Slovakia and their municipal uh, municipal media. They are quite strongly abused by politicians in power for their public promotion for public money so it is it is a huge problem because we have also some information deserts in Slovakia and in some districts there are no other local media except of these uh, municipal media so it is quite important to to evaluate them and uh, maybe my last uh, slide is related with campaign monitoring uh, it is uh, also quite important uh, uh, important uh, project from our perspective the local and real, uh, regional election was held in Slovakia only a couple of weeks ago so we uh, also created the, the portal with uh, information about expenses of all candidates for mayors and the regional presidents uh, because they are obliged to have transparency accounts so we can uh, gather all the information and publish them on, on the website we also published some uh, cases or bad practices from the from the campaign and uh, also took some legal actions against some candidates and we also evaluated uh, the transparency of, of the campaigns of candidates 
So it was also heavily discussed uh, before the election. So basically in five minutes, 